Songbird's role in the rollout and kind of how you feel how you feel it's going and 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 the long the longer term role of Songbird. Sure. So um, Songbird is the Canary Network for Flare. Uh, you know what what we've stated is uh, you know the Canary in the coal mine. Uh, so Flare has three key protocols. Uh, really, um, there's the state connector, which allows uh, state from other networks to be used by smart contracts on Flare or Songbird. Uh, there's the FTSO, which already exists and which people are staking to, which is uh, Flare's native uh, Oracle system. And then ultimately, there's then the F assets. Uh, and that is the, 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 the asset from XRP, Litecoin, like Stellar, et cetera, on, on, on Flare. Um, and those are those three protocols kind of interlock. And it's quite a complex system. Uh, there's a lot of testing we, we need to do. Songbird is like the ideal place to do that. The reason being is because you know uh, we've, we've we've told people you know it's, it's, it's a, has some risk embedded, uh, but it, it it isn't a test network. It's it's a, it's, a, it's a sort of form of a mainnet, uh, but that's used for testing. Um, and so that then allows us to get those protocols into the right shape to launch Flare into you know a a, a, a production sort of network that we are much more comfortable with uh, in, in terms of you know saying that uh, yes we're, we're happy for you know large amounts of money to be put through the F assets on flare um, you know we certainly would not say you know risk your life savings on the F assets on 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 songbird when they go live immediately we certainly not advocate that anyone does that um, so that's the role of songbird is to test the technology having said that uh, you know, we know that the base, uh, the, the the base uh, EVM chain and the FTSO, you know, it's sort of sh fairly stable now, um, and so there's quite a lot of utility that we think people could build on top of it, and we think, well, you know, we'll we'll start to build on on top of that, um, and so then what's the, what's really the lo the long term sort of utility for Songbird is is we've positioning it, we think of it as this long-term network where governance-led changes that are voted on by token holders on Flare are implemented first so that it gets all of the new technology that you know Flare Foundation and, and any, anyone else basically proposes and accepts. Um, and so that gets that six months to a year in advance or however long. Having said that, it will have a disparate group of token holders over the long term. And things like the state connector present a myriad of potential opportunities that people could build applications for. So to give you an example, on Flare, we use the state connector, you know, principally, you know, we use it, anyone else can use it for a different manner, we use it for the F assets. Uh, but you could use the state connector to do a number of other things. One of the things you could do is because you can see what's happened on another network, you could take the price from the FTSO, you could maybe stake against that price on in a smart contract on either Songbird or Flare, uh, and you could say, I'm gonna deliver that price to another network like Ethereum. You got yourself a decentralized Oracle. Then the state connector can see whether you delivered that price whether you delivered it at all, whether you delivered the right price at the right time, uh, whether you did it honestly. And you can then have automatic smart contract controlled slashing, and then you've got yourself an Oracle protocol. Really interesting, like cross-chain Oracle protocol. Uh, it's not something we're building. It's not something we're thinking about building. It's some. It's an alternative thing that we're thinking about. Like, you know, what can the state connect to be used for? There's an endless amount of potential use cases, and loads of stuff we haven't thought of. That's what I think. You know, if you ask me, what what is Songbird? It could completely diverge from what Flare is doing with the state connector, and it could be a home for completely new and different use cases. Entirely up to the token holders. Entirely up to developers. Interesting. Yeah, I mean, again, it's the, the like empowering people to build. Yeah, something that you don't have to build is kind of the, the really cool, the really cool part of all this.